Hello, I'm Mix Mars and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a nice little job lot of lawnmowers I've just picked up, and one or two other little pieces in there. Mrs. P is going to absolutely love it. Um, just been down to my local stockist and picked up a load of uh, mowers and a little tiny uh, quad bike. Uh, I think it's a little 50cc one. Um, I had loads of bits and pieces there, but I just thought I'd just pick what I needed. Um, because stuff isn't selling at the moment. That's not to say um, my stuff isn't selling. Other people's maybe. But uh, you need to sometimes change the stock that you've got and just change the way in which you sell. So pick up the smaller, cheaper machines, which sell a bit better in my area, rather than concentrating on the big like Atcos and Hondas and what have you. Sometimes it's the little machines that are actually the money maker. Um, so I've been down to my little stockers in Brighton just today and um, picked up well, just one or two, just one or two mowers. And um, I should get them out and um, line them all up, show you what I've got. And then uh, we'll try and fire a few up, see what they're doing. Um, have I bought a load of old lemons or have I bought some apples and pears? We shall wait and see. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mows and Mow Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time when I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's check out my recent job lot. Right, so I've got that one back on the bench, a little height of 41 auto drive, very drive. Hasn't sold, so I thought I'd get it in and get a bit of a spruce up. It just, just wasn't looking uh, very nice. So that's coming back in the shed. Uh, out here I have just one or two mowers, but then I mix mowers and mower, man, people. That's just what I do. But half of this lot here, half of it is going to be stripped and scrapped because a lot of it is just old parts. I'll take a look at that little one there. Don't have a grass bag for it. Never have a grass bag for it. Can't get one. Uh, engine off, cable off, and and just scrap, scrap the old deck out. So that's what I've got. Um, just waiting on a fuel tank for that chipper. That'd be good. That little mount feels good to go, but it's already ready to be sold. So I've got a few ready, but as you can see by the lawn, the lawn is starting to take a bit of a punishment now because uh, summer is here and uh, we're starting to struggle uh, with water. So the lawn is starting to die off. That will be a reason why the lawnmowers are not selling is because the grass is not growing. And this happened about 2016 where um, uh, the lawns just died, which is great for people that don't want to cut the grass, but for people who rely on selling machines and cutting grass as a lawn care business, what is happening now is the worst thing that can happen to you is having a really hot summer because the grass dies. So. Let's make a bit of room. And then what I'll do is, I'll either put in a bit of time lapse or I'll just cut the video in places. Just so I can go to the, up to the top of the, in the driveway, pick the old, uh, open the old van up and uh, go from there. So give us two ticks. You might lose my audio as I will edit it accordingly. And we're going to see what I've picked up. So I'll see you in a minute. I might put in a bit of time lapse because you're going to lose me as I go right in, into the driveway because it's uh, too far for your microphone to, uh, to pick up. Okay, so the first one we have is a little mount field. Uh, what is it? It's an SP545 grass belt cover is in good condition. Little priming mower uh, with power drive. That should sell quite well. Next one, it's a Mountfield SP470 power drive. Uh, broken handlebars on that one, but I've got spares for those. Uh, fuel cap's missing, I've got spares for those. 
So I have a little, you know, a little tiny bread and butter machine for you there. They sell very, very well in my area. And that's also power drive. So the next one is a little Makita 35. That's three and a half horsepower. A little Makita, it's got a few problems with the handlebars. Gotta fix that. It's got a grass box, Briggs and Stratton Classic. Does what it says on my tin. Next up, little Mountfield 414. 2012 push mower they sell all day long in my area nice cheap little mower Next up, another little mount field, 414, push mower, 2014 edition. and got myself a nice little uh, Quocast push mower. Cheap, 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 cheap. They sell all day long. Got a 8 to 41 Harry grass box for a tenner. That's cheap. And that's the Makita box. Wants a bit of repair, so all the mowers I buy all have grass boxes. Next up, little Mountfield 185 300 series overhead valve Briggs. Nice little mower that actually, for what it is. Not a fan of the overhead valve E series, 2017 model. So that's not that old. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mowers. <coughs> Picked up total. And then last but not least, we have ourselves a little Riley Boy quad. Now, these are not your expensive quad bikes, trust me, but I thought for what I paid for that, that's definitely worth a little go at it. And from what I can see, it's got a little uh, stop, stop button there, so if you fall off, uh, that cuts off. But the pull cord is, uh, is all hanging out. That's the reason I bought it. A uh, little tiny, I think it's a two-stroker, um, chinese quad bike. Uh, could be a good bit of, bit of good fun for Riley Boy. So all the back brakes will work. Uh, front brake works okay. Uh, all reflectors are there. Yeah, it's all there, it's all tidy. Um, could be a little bit of fun. So that's just something a little bit different. So that's what I bought my little supplier over in Brighton today. Okay, so moment of truth time. Have I bought a load of old lemons? Let's grab some fuel and we'll see what we've actually bought. I don't know where my fuel is, that's around here. So the little quad bike initially is from a little Riley boy. He might like that, if I can restrict it a bit for him. 
because it was additional needs. Um, but it might just be a good little bit of fun for him. I've got to fix a pull cord yet. So this one, no fuel in the tank. Just gonna put nothing just to wet the old whistle. Oh, she's red hot today. Now bearing in mind all of these have all been thrown away for one reason or another. Uh, what's it got in there? It's got a little, what's that in there spark plug wise? Champion I think. 2017 HP hand propelled 185. Plenty of pumps. Just want to hear it go bang. That's all we want to hear it do. Nothing more than that. So it is a little bit shaky, which could just be um, uh, a bent crank blade damaged. Not a lot though, it doesn't hurt to hold it. So it could be a crankshaft, it could just be a blade. Uh, but you never know until you actually have a look at these machines. And this is a risk that I take is buy from buying from recycle centers. It's generally they're thrown away because there's damage been done. But I have spare engines for this. That's no drama. I've got a nice big engine over there that'll fit that, go straight on. So little tiny um, crow cast, Briggs and Strat Classic with a Briggs and Strat plug in it. It's just starting to prime. Yeah, that's priming. Let's see what happens. Well, it runs. Not very well. Carburetor clean. That's money there. So if I sell these two mowers, that's my money back on the entire job lot. Okay, the rest will be profit. A little tiny uh, WB, is it? 45 overhead valve mount field. This is a self-driver. No fuel in the carb in the tank. So put a bit in. Now these have got the metal tanks on here, uh, metal carbs on here. I'm sweating like an absolute pig today. It is well up. So this is a 2017 model, I think. What year is that one? I think it's 217, I think. Well, let's prime it. Well, it says it's priming. There's something going on. I think the height adjustment might be broke on it as well. There's something going on here. But I've got spares for that. Sort of begs the question why people throw these machines away, man. There's another one running. Uh, this one here, SP470, it needs a bit of work doing to it. It's got uh, wonky wheels, no fuel cap, all that sort of stuff. Just enough just to wet the whistle. There is generally, they, they go. Now the HTD boot was actually off on this one. Which is unusual. Don't tell me it got thrown away because of the um, H Tealy boot missing. The drive cable's actually been moved. Um, let's see what happens. I'm always worried about pulling this type of mowers over first time. Now that's got a bit of a, a knocking noise. Oh, 
don't want to stop. And that's why the HT lead boot was hanging off, because they were pulling the boot off instead of just adjusting the switch cable. And why was it why was it making that knocking noise? Let's have a quick little look, a quick investigation. Uh, I would say that the guard was actually uh, loose and I have spares of those already in my shed. So that's another winner. So it's a bit of love that one. Okay, Mountfield 414. Renowned for having torch plugs in, no fuel again. So I'm only putting just, just a dribble in because some people remove fuel leads and what have you. Fuel lines off the old machines when they go to scrap them. It's got to be about 40 degrees out here. I reckon today's hotter than the Barbados. I think it is priming. Let's see. A little push mower. But don't want to know on that one. But that's not to say it ain't got a torch in there. Oh, I can't fucking remove it. These are renowned for being pickles. If you can even get the HT lead off without removing the, uh, the old dude. Let me get a uh, spark plug for that. I'm not convinced. Um, it's got that much of an issue. So I'll try and do a quick little live repair if we can. Just trying to find me right spark plug tools. And I'll grab myself an overhead valve spark plug and a bit of carby spray just to see if we can't make it go bang. Oh, she's warm everywhere you go. Uh, carburetor spray up here. A uh, pair of grips maybe just to pull that old uh, HTD boot off. I'm not convinced that it's anything other than a bad plug. Saying that, we have got a brand spanking new NGK in there, by the looks of it, which is good to see. That could just be carburetor or no spark. That plug's actually quite poop, actually. It ain't that good. Let's put a bit of carby spray down the head. And then just put a brand new plug in. It's a brand new overhead valve plug. Come on, baby. Playable. Oh, I don't want to go in there. There it goes. I'll nick that up. I'm very quickly just going to pull the cord. Just so we can uh, just test it's for combustion. So if it works, then we'll quit in. These will, be, these will just be sold as cheap little mowers. Not all be serviced, we just put they'll be run and tested. Quick, cheap little machine. HT lead back on. Boom. All right. Let's give it a pull. See what it's doing now. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. That tells me carburetor. Whew. Next one. Air box is hanging off. Uh, the tank's a little bit wet, but there's no fuel in there. So, so far, everything's good apart from one as a suspect bent crank. Yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds like a priming. <clears throat> to go. Quick little check over. She's a runner. Last one is a Makita which just wants a bit of work on the handlebars. That's all. Nothing uh, strenuous. Been a Makita. Should sell well too. What's that in there Mick? 
So a bit of fuel in there, maybe a bit of water too. So put a bit of fuel in. So we don't have to just to run for an hour. So I just want just to fire. Okay. Oh, right, what have we got here? I don't know. Let's give it a quick little tug, see what, see what it do. Oh, short pull cord. Bit of a hunt and a surge, but apart from that, golden. So, in all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight odd mowers. Uh, all do something. Um, one is a suspect bank crank, but it could just be the blade. Could be. I've not even looked at it yet. But I do have another Briggs and Stratton engine or um, an overhead valve engine, which I could fit on there, no drama. Uh, but a little surprise that whole lot was looks on a quad bike. Um, can't try and start that yet because the pull cord is no good, but uh, I'm going to look into that um, maybe in the next video coming up because once Riley Boy claps his eyes on that, he's going to want to be on that like a tramp on chips. Right, I tell you, she is hotter out there than anything the today. That is uh, supposed to be hotter than Barbados today, apparently, and out, out, out there. So if you've booked a holiday out in Barbados this week, although you're probably enjoying a nice, refreshing drink by the seaside, it's hotter here in Bognor Regis. Um, so there you go. Uh, I don't know, seven or eight mowers, um, all up and running to a degree. Just want a bit of, bit of nurture, a bit of mixed mowers love and um, we should be quids in. So as I say, the, the mowers just are not selling this time of year, which sort of makes you think, well, why are you buying more? Um, because they'll always sell. You don't got to feed them, okay? You don't, you don't got to look after them. You're going to tuck them into bed. You just throw them out in the store and um, next year they'll sell next year. No drama. So it's, it's always an investment. Um, however, we could get a nice cut of belt of rain in the later part of the season and uh, the grass starts to grow. People get the lawnmowers out because they haven't been used for two or three months because of the weather. Their lawnmower doesn't work, come and see me, trade one in, buy one, bish bash bosh, easy. The little quad bike, just a little bit of a bonus there. Um, I, it's not something I would normally pick up uh, because I believe it to be a two stroker. Um, it's not a key start battery operated one, it is just a pull cord start one, I believe. Um, and the pull cord is broken. I don't know how much a new pull cord is for that. I should try and look down the road first, just repairing my one. And if it all works and runs and is safe and the brakes will work, I might just try and restrict it. And then Riley Boy can run around the garden on it. He'd absolutely love that. Um, and then uh, once he's bored of it, I'll go and sell it. So um, they're not worth a lot of money. I think you can buy them brand new for like, I don't know, 300 quid, 250, something like that. I think they're not, they're not a lot of money. Uh, but you know, for what I paid for that, which is uh, not bad money, um, I might make 50 quid out of it. Um, and then um, some other young lad, young girl, might have a bit more fun with it for a year. They may sell it on for a bit less money and, and around it goes, and it might turn up again next year in the same place and I'll buy it again. And, and things just keep going around and around and around. I'm sure, I'm convinced, it's not the first time I bought a mow that I sold about two or three years ago. I have had that happen before. But there you go, quick little job lock for you. Mrs. P will absolutely love it when she wakes. She's having a bit of a midday, midday nap. She's gonna love it when she finds another two or three mowers hanging outside by the, by, the, by the front garden there. She'll love that, so super, super happy. If this is the first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers and Mower Man, do yourself a favor, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, and set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. And don't forget, it is completely free to subscribe to my channel. And I know there's quite a high percentage of people that watch my channel but aren't subscribed. So do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, whack the bell, and that'll just tell you on your phone or tablet next time I upload another video. So it's completely free to do so, so why wouldn't you do that? I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon, but until then, people don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.